Here we have the motherboard out of a Dell Inspiron 5520. It does not power on currently. As soon as I took the bottom cover off, I was able to see the burnt component right there. And if we take a peek at that, it's actually the power control for the USB port. And here's a good one. We measured that one. It reads in the mega ohm range. This one here that looks burnt, when we measure that one, it reads 200 ohms. We've got a couple plastic components near the burnt IC there. USB port, more plastic. So we're going to cover all the plastic up and then we're going to put some flux on there and get the hot air gun going. And you can see we got it covered up there with some protective tape. We're going to go ahead and apply the flux here. And we're going to hit go ahead and start hitting it with the hot air, get everything warmed up. Let's get a hold of this component here. ready and boom also knocked a couple little caps off there we'll go ahead and stick those back when we get get done here all right we're gonna get that out of the way so we can put a new chip on there and there we go Go ahead and stick that little guy back here. stick him back on here and that's the wrong spot where he goes but we'll fix that later on we just got to get him stuck on here for the moment put some more flux on there and we're going to set the new chip on there the AP2301 and we're going to go ahead and apply hot air put him back where he goes there before he takes flight. And the board's already preheated this time, so it's not going to take quite as long to get it liquid and stuck. And then we will go ahead and fix those two caps and put them where they go. And applying pressure takes us a little bit out of focus, but there we go. Now we'll go ahead and put these caps back. There's that one. There's that one. Oh, of course, got to knock that out of the way. And perfect. All righty. Double check that we got her all stuck down and let's clean it up. Let's take a look at the board view here. And right here is our component pull up the data sheet real quick so basically these two pins are input always on five volts ground the enable pin when that gets pulled high connects the two outputs that pins a no connect and this pins a flag if it detects a short or over current well, when that one goes high then uh, this one gets killed off 
So these are the two always on pins. This one is ground. This one is the enable pin that gets pulled high, which connects these two. Six and seven, eight, here's a no connect. And nine is the flag pin to disable the current to the USB port. There's also one more of these components right here. The exact same thing for the other USB port right here.